we're talking about a beef that's so old, you should have to pay $1,000 to order it from Japan. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media and news stories daily. On May 25th, Pusha T released his third solo studio album, Daytona, to critical acclaim. The whole album was produced by Kanye West and contains some of his signature skills. Drug dealer benzes with gold diggers in them. And elevator condos on everything I love. But the final track of the album, Infrared, takes some serious shots at Drake, who has been accused of using a ghostwriter for his tracks. The lyric pinning equal to Trump's you know I mean? winning. The bigger question is how the Russians did it. It was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. At the mercy of a game where the codes is missing. When the CEO's blinded by the glow is different. The line, it was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin, is a reference to Quentin Miller from the rap duo Wedding Crashers, who's been rumored to have written many of Drake's verses. Quentin Miller responded with his own freestyle, Destiny, where he basically says he wants to be left out of the whole thing. You know, more than just a, just a prop, you know, or, or a pun. I'm a person too, you know. I can ask another this. And can you blame him? Later in Infrared, Pusha T delivers another punch. How could you ever write these wrongs when you don't even write your songs? How could you ever write these wrongs? when you don't even write your songs, is unmistakably a shot at Drake, who responded the day of Daytona's release with a diss track titled Duppy Freestyle. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's, what do you really think of the that's making your beats? I've done things for him I thought that he never would need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I pop style for 30 hours, then let him repeat. Now you popping up with the jokes, I'm dead, I'm asleep. On this track, Drake defends his use of writers in some of his songs, and he pushes back even saying that he helped Kanye with 2016's Life of Pablo. He also criticized Pusha T for pushing him while he's in album mode, and said he's not even top five as far as his label's talent goes. Pusha T tweeted Duppy Freestyle, sarcastically asking asking him to send the invoice for the extra 20, which Drizzy actually did. So up until this point, this may seem to be all in good fun, but Pusha T's next move has taken it to a whole other level. He released The Story of Adidin, the image for which features a photo of Drake in actual blackface. Okay, now there's a lot that we have to break down for this. Pusha T wrote on Twitter, please stop referring to this picture as artwork. I'm not an internet baby, I don't edit images, this is a real picture, these are his truths, see for yourself. The photographer of the images, David Lays, said the photos were Drake's idea, but that he was proud to be a part of a strong statement made by a black man about the fucked up culture he's living in. Based on the shirt Drake's wearing in the photo, it's possible that these were promotional images for a 2008 line of clothing called Jim Crow Couture by the brand Two Black Guys as part of their ongoing attempts to represent the black experience in an unapologetic way. But regardless of the intent, the image has sparked a lot of discussion among the rap world and the social justice world. Buzzfeed star and actress Quinta Brunson wrote, Drake in blackface might have put a nail in the coffin for light skins this summer. I don't make the rules. And Niner Nation 53 wrote, you all went absolutely wild when Kanye posted a picture in a MAGA hat. Now Drake, your king, has a picture of him in blackface circulating and you're suddenly very quiet. Let's have a dialogue. Leia is tweeted at Push's manager asking him to take down the photo. And Instagram removed the image after it was reported by a third party. As for the track itself, it utilizes the music from Jay-Z's The Story of OJ and takes shots at Drake's personal life. Since you name drop my fiance, let him know who you chose as your Beyonce. Sophie knows better as your baby mother. Cleaned her up for IG, but the stench is on her. A baby's involved, it's deeper than rap. We talking character, let me keep with the facts. Pusha name dropped Sophie Brousseau, a former adult actress who Drake is rumored to have fathered a child with and calls Drake out for not being there for his son. So this shit's getting like really real now. Brousseau currently works as an artist, though previously she performed in adult films under the name Rosie Devine. But Pusha T might have tripped himself up just a little bit on this track. Still giving you classics. That's the only thing that dates me. Over your 40, hunched over like he 80. Tick, tick, tick. How much time he got that man is. Sick, sick, sick. I got the devil flow. He's making reference to Drake's producer Noah Forty Shabib, who suffers from multiple sclerosis. And Shabib even tweeted that coincidentally, May 30th is World MS Day. So, unsurprisingly, 
A lot of people are not so pleased with Pusha T. William Ketchum III said, this Pusha T diss is mad problematic. Respectability politics, women and children mentioned by name, clowning 40s multiple sclerosis, etc. Really ugly stuff. But Drake asked for it, name dropping Pusha's fiance. This is war, and I can't front this shit is giving me goosebumps. Charlemagne the God said, for everyone saying Push went too far for talking about MS, let's not forget when Drake went at Cuddy's mental illness. And Frederick Joseph said, I'm all the way here for a rap war, but to talk about 40s multiple sclerosis, to come at Drake? As someone with MS, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that you're a bitch, Pusha T. Even the National MS Society responded. Everyone's getting in on this. Their senior director, Eileen Curran wrote, it's troubling to hear that a person's disability would be made fun of by others. Multiple sclerosis, which affects more than 2.3 million people worldwide, is an often misunderstood disease. People living with MS face many challenges every day, which is why it's so important to continue to raise awareness for MS so others can better understand those challenges. And of course, May 30th is World MS Day, so go to nationalmssociety.com if you wanna learn more about the disease. To wrap it up, that's just all the stuff that happened in the beef this week. This goes all the way back to 2006, and if you want a complete primer on the Pusha T Drake feud, Billboard.com has a really comprehensive analysis. Because if we went all the way back there, then you guys would be here with us till next year, and who knows what they'd have done to each other by that time. The link is in the description below. Are you team Pusha T or team Drake? Let us know in the comments, and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.